I think something that might be surprising to you if you have seen whole cherry fermentations is that these barrels are completely open. Like not only are we outside, but they I just have a plastic cover over them. I don't have the lid with the valve because I'm not looking for a sealed system. In fact, I want it to be open. Not only do I want to mix so that I don't get like the temperature striation, but we're also checking temperature and we're checking pH of the fermentation. And if it's closed, I'm blind and I can't see anything. And because I have different yeast and bacteria that I'm looking at, I need to know if my pH is changing different rates. So it's acidifying more or less quickly. I'm also getting feedback on the aroma. So when we're mixing, we're getting different yeasts that are producing different aromas. So I can see how that's developing. I want to see the bubbles. Um, so I really don't recommend putting a lid on these fermentations and leaving it hermetically sealed. You don't need to make a physically closed environment to create an anaerobic condition for the fermentation. These fermentations are so active that even though they're open and we're mixing them, they're still anaerobic within the fermentation because they're so active and they're producing so much CO2. So it's really not necessary to have that extra step. And then again, it handicaps you because you can't see what's going on until four days later when you open it up and then you get a surprise of something that either went off, smells terrible, you know, something like that. So here we're um, aware the whole time of what's happening.